instead of leaning into drugs and drinking, as you might suspect a lot of kid stars to do, I went for the societally acceptable vices like ultra health and ultra achievement. Um, but I was still really suffering inside. <laughs> For any child who's in a situation where their needs are being neglected or you're asking them to try to win everyone's approval, um, you start to develop your survival strategy. So for me, a lot of it had to do with numbing myself emotionally and uh, overcompensating by being a perfectionist and which landed me in rehab with eating disorders. And ironically, I actually was asking for help and I didn't have time in my schedule for my health. <laughs> I don't know why we don't have mental health practitioners on every set and every tour. If you know that an artist is entering incredibly vulnerable and high pressure scenarios every day of their lives, then you need someone checking in and making sure that they can do this sustainably. But you get stunt doubles, you get stunt coaches, you get people who are saying, okay, this is a, you know, a hazardous, potentially risky situation, let's provide uh, the practitioner or the expert, and yet for the most vulnerable spaces, our mental health, emotional health, physical well-being and safety, those are completely disregarded for performers. <laughs> If the pain wasn't reborn as something useful, um, then I would have a lot to regret and be disappointed in a lot of people and myself um, for creating that system and, and letting it just continue going on. So that's why I've shifted to advocacy and trying to get mental health practitioners on every set and um, looking out for people's uh, holistic wellness.